Oh so, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing something slightly different from usual. We're sort of veering off the path a little. And uh, we're actually looking into marijuana in sports. I am interested in it. I haven't really watched too many videos about it. We, we've seen guys like Ricky Williams. Uh, I've seen Canada legalize it, the whole entire country recently, which is extremely interesting. I've never been to Canada, but that's definitely one reason why I'd like to. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually Dutch. We all know about Amsterdam. So, with all that being said, I've actually got a little bit of greenery right here. And so I'm gonna roll something up. Roll up a little wee, uh, wee doobie, wee joint. <laughs> and we're gonna sit back here and we're actually gonna listen to Snoop Dogg, believe it or not, rant about marijuana and sports and also Antonio Brown. I have no idea what he's gonna say. No idea at all. But before we do that, I'm actually gonna go and get my Antonio Brown jersey. So let's sit back, relax, if you've got a joint, roll it up, pause the video, definitely hit the like button, and we'll be back to uh, listen to uh, Snoop Dogg. On the Stephen A. Smith show, which makes it even more interesting. So I'll be back shortly. Nick Minnett. Okay. All good? We all good? Look at that. Still got the tags on. Don't judge me for it. This was a gift. A very, very special gift. And uh, a gift that not a lot of people would have because it is Brown's Raiders jersey. And he never actually suited up for the Raiders, did he? Found himself at the Patriots shortly after and, well, it's been a bit of a shit show the whole year for him. But I'm hoping that in the offseason he can find a team and he can play next year. Seems uh, Antonio Brown's year has been similar to Le'Veon Bell's was the year before. And I'm, I'm very frustrated at that because to hear someone, you know, to see someone take a whole year out it doesn't even matter about the circumstances or why. Le'Veon Bell was because he wasn't getting paid enough. And Antonio Brown is all his own doing. So, regardless, you never want to see a player in their prime taking a year off like that. So, Antonio Brown has uh, been extremely active still on social media and stuff. He's, he's actually turned a bit of a corner throughout the season. And it seems as if he's taken some more responsibility from what happened. I guess, I yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll see him on a team next year. It's just who it's going to be. And that's the more exciting part. So with all that being said, um, we're back here. We're about to watch a video, quite a short video, Stephen A. Smith show. Probably the first time I've actually seen this. It's actually, I'm assuming it's pretty old. Oh no, March 8th, 2019. Rapper Snoop Dogg joins the Stephen A. Smith show to discuss the NFL's rules regarding marijuana use and why he feels Antonio Brown is being mistreated by NFL owners. And this was in March. So, obviously, Antonio Brown's done a whole lot since then. Uh, let's get into it, guys. There's no time to lose. But before we do, in the name of Snoop Dogg and Stephen A. Smith, let's have a puff. Nick Minnett. I didn't claim to be Snoop Dogg is on the line. I want to see if it's really him. Is it really you, Snoop? Yabba dabba do is Snoop T O Double G Stephen. What's up, dog? <laughs> What's going on? Yabba dabba do. And how you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm loving the conversation you're talking about what? right now. So talk, like, talk, you know, talk. That's, that's my life. Talk. Okay, so they must have been talking about marijuana in sports. And Snoop Dogg has fucking called up on the line. And uh, he's going to chime in with his, his thoughts. His very experienced thoughts. So let's go. To me, because I want you to remind folks. You and I talked, and you did, you did me the courtesy of coming on first tape. You remember that a couple of years yes, ago to talk about yes, the sir. same subject. Yes, sir. Tell my audience what you broke down to folks that day, and tell me where you are now. Well, right now I'm in the same place I was when I talked to you last time. I feel like athletes aren't rappers. They aren't entertainers. We can do whatever we want to do. We don't have no bosses. We don't have no commissions. We don't have no rules of regulation. So we can do whatever we want to and still get endorsement deals and still be love for who we are because we don't have rules and regulations in hip-hop but when you sign up for the nfl there are rules and regulations that have been put in place for over 75 years that you're not going to change no matter who you are or who you think you are if you sign up for it you know the rules and regulations you must abide by the rules if you violate you out period and that's what's happening right now it's a lot of violation going on in this camera right here that tv and did a video i don't think that was smart at all that's where I was going, Snoop. That was going to be my next question to you. I want to know what your feelings were when you saw David Irvin's video this morning. I thought he should have kept it low-key and, and, and not put his business out there because it's not football season as it is, so... What? David Irving? 
What happened with that? Uh, it's not even coming up. David Irving weed. What? David Irving quitting the NFL over marijuana. Okay, so that was a live video of him saying he's quitting the league because he can't smoke. Hot dude David Irving finds post-Cowboys career stars in his... Let me have a look at this shit. Stars in his own cannabis ads. Okay, that's a story I definitely want to hear about. <laughs> okay, let's continue. This is the perfect time to, to, to actually be medicating yourself, but to, the way he did it, it's like, it's in, in, a, in a rage. Like, I'm mad at the NFL and I'm mad at all these rules, so I'm doing this to show people that I don't care. But you're showing a wrong example because a lot of people like yourself yeah. work their whole lives to get to that level. And to get to that level and to blow it behind smoking weed? Yeah. Come on, man, you can smoke weed after the game or when the season is over with. It's not that serious. And, and this is the average weed smoker right there talking to you. Right. We're talking to it's Snoop Dogg. There's Snoop Dogg right here with Stephen A, ESPN Radio, ESPN News. Snoop, what I went off about and what I've been going off about, I take a position like that, people going off, selling out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like this. I'm tired of all of that. The fact that the no, matter no, no, is... No, 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 let me stop you. You're not a sellout. You bring attention to the situation that needs to be talked about. You looking out. It's the difference between a lookout and a sellout. You looking out by bringing attention and telling the truth and putting facts in front of our faces. That's looking out. That ain't selling out. Selling out is when you don't tell a man he's wrong. When you don't tell a man you're blowing your position, you're blowing your life, and you're making a bad example. That's selling out. Looking out is keeping it one foul wow, no matter what it is. That's what you want. <laughs> one foul wow? Of course you. That's why I'm calling you right now. What? Well, I appreciate that. You know I do. Thank you so much. Snoop Dogg right here with Stephen A. ESPN Radio, ESPN News. Before I let you go, here's my thing. Not just that. It's not just we. Even with an Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown is a bad brother. You're a Steelers fan. I'm a Steelers fan. We know what he's meant to this organization. But in the same breath, and by the way, I love the shop. I love what I'm seeing LeBron and Maverick and those boys do. I saw yeah. you on the show a few yeah. months ago. You know you know, yeah. Jamie's my brother. I saw him on the show just recently, okay? They did a hell yeah. of a job. But the thing about it is this. Antonio Brown, for our Steelers, called out the quarterback, called out the coach, called out the GM, Called out the owner. This is on separate weeks leading up to that interview. And my. There was actually. Somebody yeah, clicked. okay. Alright. That's that one done. I guess what we need to do now is continue with this little story here and just just find out what, what happened here. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to I wanna see if we can watch that live video and see what he said. David Irving quits. 21 seconds. It looked a lot longer than that. Former Dallas Cowboys defensive tackle David Irving rallies to legalize marijuana. All right, we're going to watch those two videos to finish off. Um, let's let's just let's have a look at this. I don't know if it was because he needed to use it for pain or that he just wanted to use it recreationally. But he, if he threw away his career because he wanted to use it recreationally, nah, that's just stupid. Basically, guys, I quit. Suspension and all this other nonsense. I'm out of there. I'm not doing it no more. Um, you know, it's a lot of reasons why uh, you know I come to this decision. But you quit football? Well, let's hear why, man. Um, but first, let's hear him a week ago. Yeah. Oh, we'll talk about a lot in sports. Yeah. Okay. Then. Thank you, Dave. We'll see you then. Well, there was some action outside of the stadium tonight, too. Former defensive lineman David Irving held a rally to legalize marijuana. He left the Cowboys last season after being suspended for violating the NFL's substance abuse policy. Here's Rebecca Lopez okay. with why he's now taking on this fight. Pot over pills is David Irving's message. Marijuana is healthy. Uh, I'm not sure how much you all know, but I stepped away from my football career because I was forced to take these pills. And I'd rather choose plants over pills. Irving has been on a mission after quitting the Dow. Respect, bruh. Respect. That wouldn't have been an easy decision, man. And if they're trying to give him all these pills that people can easily get addicted to, and he's saying, no, I want to smoke weed instead, it's fucked. The system's fucked. Okay, it wasn't just to smoke it recreationally. It was to use it medicinally, which is exactly what it should be used for. Pain. Damn, man. Interesting story. Um, let's continue. Dallas Cowboys when he was caught violating the substance abuse policy and suspended indefinitely earlier this year. You don't just get suspended, so you get suspended 
you get to fame on a national level. He says marijuana is better than the opioids. He says the NFL gives players to deal with pain. Irving claims he was given six different pain meds by team doctors. You know, they do a lot to your body. Uh, start to mess with your mind, start to mess with your liver. Uh, you get addicted to them. So Irving came to Dallas to tout the medical use for marijuana. He held a small rally outside the stadium. Army veteran Robert Head is among those who showed up for support. So I was on about 10 pain pills a day, along with about a fifth of whiskey a week. Head says marijuana helped him get off the pills and alcohol. This week, the MLB announced it will no longer test for marijuana. Irving hopes the really? NFL will follow, and he says he is pushing for Shit. federal laws to legalize marijuana. In Arlington, I'm Rebecca Lopez. Wow, okay, so let's say they did stop testing. Then I guess, I assume, you know, far less athletes would, would even go to the doctors complaining of pain and saying they needed uh, anything in the first place because they'd, they'd, you know, they'd all be, or the ones that would want to, would be self-medicating at home and, you know, doing it on their own, sorting out their pain medication themselves, basically. You know, the repercussions really... The only negative repercussions, and, and this is what gets brought up a lot, is, is for the pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> They'd be selling less painkillers. And we'll leave it there. Anyways, guys, that is uh, video number two done for the series. I'm just giving you guys my opinion on the subject before I go and give it up for 30 days at least from the start of uh, January. That's going to be my New Year's resolution. You know, wish me luck. I'll probably need it and I will say again you know unfortunately I deleted all of my previous videos about the subject about weed because I wanted more a more clean-cut image I wanted any prospective coaches out there who were gonna recruit me uh, to you know not have anything that could stop them or sway their opinions or stop them from reaching out to me you know so I decided to delete them a few months ago and um, I guess I'm bringing it back because I do enjoy it. But you never know, I might have a change of heart and never put any of these videos up for you to see. We'll have to see. It is Christmas Eve, Christmas Day tomorrow. I want to say Merry Christmas. Have a great night or a great day, wherever you are in the world, whenever you're watching this. And uh, have a fantastic festive season. And with that being said, good night. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah